Good evening, everybody. This is Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High School. We'll give you information. We have progress reports coming out this week on Wednesday. It's our mid-quarter one progress reports. And we want to make sure that families, along with our students, what to know what to do in the case that a student has a low grade. We've been sharing this information with students since September, uh, mid-September. You know, they see this all the time, so sometimes they forget about it or they get, you know, focused on other things. But it's shared with them during lunch, during breakfast, probably during most of their Troy times, um, definitely in the early going. So I'm going to take you through the slides so you understand the ways we help our students. Uh, this isn't all the ways, but these are kind of built into our system at Auburn High. This is a slide or something close to this the students have seen every day at breakfast, every day at lunch. And again, we've sent the same slide to all of our teachers, a different variation of it. This is more for our parents. Um, so basically, we've been telling them what to do if they end up with a low grade or when learning becomes difficult, because that's why we're here. We're here to learn. In Auburn High School, we assign interventions, and we also depend on our students to have self-direction for making choices that benefit them. And this is where you come in. Um, I'm hoping you're reminding them to take care of these things at home. Uh, not all of our students have opportunities to come to homework club. We realize that a lot of them have domestic uh, responsibilities, but I just want to make sure that we're all being mindful and making sure they do have an opportunity at some point during the day or, you know, every other day, whatever that might be to make sure they've got time to work on their schoolwork. Most of our teachers do a really great job of getting most of the work done at home, but some of the rigorous materials that our students are working with do require time outside of the classroom. Okay, I'm going to talk about Troy Time Intervention, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our After School Homework Club, but let's start with Troy Time Intervention. Um, we're going to start this on October 10th. I'm not going to read these bulleted uh, statements to you. You can read those. Um, it's our school day academic support, and when students are assigned out of their home Troy time, um, their home Troy time is... Uh, the course code is 401. They'll see that in Skyward. You should be able to see that in their Skyward. That's the Troy time they've been going to pretty much for the whole year so far. If they have a low grade, uh, they will be assigned to a 402. More than likely, it's going to be one of their core intervention teachers. Uh, the teacher would be an English teacher, math, science, or social studies. Um, and basically, they would use the time um, to do what's in the bulleted statements there. Um, our urban high school families will receive this information. So this is what I'm doing right now so that we're all on the same page. And I really need our families to partner with us because our students really need to focus on learning during this time. It is a, probably one of the most underutilized supports in our building. And the more we get our students taken as serious, the more they're going to see their grades go up and their learning increase. Okay, this is a little uh, picture of what it could look like on Skyward. Um, I don't know if it's exactly this. This is from last year. They've made a few changes in Skyward. But basically, you can see in there the 401. Um, and then right below that is a 402. It won't be in red on their Skyward. But if, if your student does have a 402, that tells you that they should be going to a Troy time intervention. If they have that, they do not go to home Troy, except on Fridays. It's always our home Troy days, Fridays. And other than that, they would go to their 402. Okay, I know it's a lot of information, but just talk to your students about it. They're going to get this from Troy time this week. Most of them understand it from last year or the year before, uh, but I do realize about 40% of our students at Auburn High School are new to our school. Here's some more information. This has to do with attendance taking. This is more for our teachers and our students to understand. And then once they get their grades up to a C minus, then uh, we'll back them out of that 402, possibly put them into a second 402 if they have a second low grade. Um, so just know that that's our system. We do that for about four week cycles until the next grades come out. And what happens if your student is able to stay just in their regular uh, 401 Troy time? Um, they continue to do what they've been doing, keep working on their stuff. Chances are if they have a core teacher in science, math, English, or social studies as their Troy time teacher, their teacher is going to be working with other students. So they need to be working independently and working on their things. Um, whatever that might be. Right now, we're allowing students who are in AP classes because we, we've encouraged so many students to take AP this year that we need to make sure we're supporting them. Those students can actually go get and seek help from their AP teachers during Troy time, regardless of what their grade is. They might have an A in there or a B, but they can still use this time as long as they're not in an intervention Troy. 
All right, what about after school? We have all kinds of opportunities after school out of the five uh, day work week. Four of the days, uh, we have homework club. And this is something we speak to this slide, success is an effort habit. We believe highly in effort and trying and showing up. We've been telling our students September, since September 6th, show up, show up, show up. And uh, I hope they're getting that because when they show up more, they tend to do really well at school. And when they're doing really well at school, they wanna to continue to show up. So it's that success breeds success. And we talked to them about failure. Uh, we've all had failure in our lives, but it's a mindset and you can change that mindset. You can show up more, you can learn, you can grind, you can persevere. And then we start having those great success stories. Here's another process we take our students through. Some of our teachers have, I think all of our teachers have this up in their classrooms. We also offer this in Spanish. Uh, we ask our students to ask more questions, make yourself available, set up a time to work with your teacher, email your teacher, do not give up. And then of course, we wanna give homework club a try and that's gonna be their time. We haven't started assigning homework club, but we can work with families and we can assign students if our families are on top of that and want us to do that. Okay, homework club is up and running. It started running, I think the third week of September, it's supported with transportation. We do have snacks up there. And in about two weeks, we are gonna be offering dinner. Last year, we started this dinner service partnership with YMCA and we serve between 80 and 100 dinners a night. It's not just for students in homework club, it's all the clubs and any students that are just hanging out. Some of our kids just hang out after school in the commons and they sit at tables and they work on their homework, they play card games, they just relax um, and it's a pretty good atmosphere. So just know that it could take a little bit of weight off the family budget, your students can actually get dinner at school. And that's every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, starting October 16th. But right now we have all the other supports. So these are the teachers right now that actually go to Troy time. I'm sorry, homework club after school. Um, those are the teachers on Monday. Those are on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Most of them stay at least an hour. Some of them work with kids an hour and a half. Some work with the students for two hours. Just depends on their own domestic responsibilities at home. Uh, I talked about bus service. This is the South Side bus stops. Our students are picked up in the West Courtyard at 445 on bus 154. These are the stops they make at those approximate times. And then for students that live more to the north side of our catchment area, uh, we also have uh, bus 34 that services at. Again, these are the drop-off points. Okay, if you have any questions uh, about Troy time, uh, you can go ahead and email Edith Andrade. Um, and we tell our students and they can stop by her office, of course, and many of them do. She works with a lot of students one-to-one. -one and helps them uh, work their way out of uh, academic holes. She's wonderful. You can also contact me if you'd like. And with that information, I hope you give us great support as we hit mid-quarter one grades and supporting your students. And let's do a great job with this. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, everybody.